What's up guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. Hey, happy 2023, our first video here, coming to you live from an A320 simulator. I'm on the runway here um, in LaGuardia, runway 13. We're gonna take off. I just wanna share with you some unreliable airspeed information that is gonna be crucial for you uh, doing this profile both in a sim and if you get it in real life, something you really wanna consider with the unreliable speed. And it's gonna be the note on the bottom of the memory item that says to level off for troubleshooting, of course, assuming we're at or above the circuit altitude or MSA. So basically, if we're at a safe altitude, it's important that we level off to troubleshoot exactly what's happening. And I wanna share with you one of the reasons this is so crucial as I take you along here and show you the PFD through an unreliable speed situation. So there's several ways to get an unreliable speed indication one of which is a pitot tube block. Maybe the pitot tube and the pitot drain are both blocked. And that's the example we're gonna to see today is both pitot tube and drain are blocked. Now in that example, the airspeed indicator acts as an altimeter. So when we climb, you're gonna see the airspeed climb. When we descend, you're gonna see the airspeed descend. And what's interesting is normally what we would expect, assuming thrust is constant, if we pitch up with constant thrust, the airspeed should decay. Likewise, if thrust is constant and I descend, the airspeed should increase. We're gonna see something contrary to that now because of the total pitot blockage failure that we're gonna program. So notice here, we're pitched up, the airspeed is increasing, but the airspeed trend vector is showing a deceleration. This really plays with the mind, and the reason this is happening is because, again, that total pitot blockage However, the trend vector is generated by the inertial reference unit, while the airspeed indication is a pitot-static instrument. This is the importance of applying the memory item, particularly that final point on the bottom, leveling off. And a really good point, too, would be to request a block altitude, whereby now we have a playground of, say, 2,000 feet, let's say in this case between four to 6,000, hypothetical scenario, whereby we can troubleshoot better what we really have. Remember, in a climb with constant thrust, we would expect a decrease in speed, not an increase. And what we saw here was an increase in speed as opposed to what we would expect to see, which is that decrease in speed. So hopefully this has brought some clarity as to the importance of that last little note on the bottom of the memory item to level off for troubleshooting, assuming we're at a safe altitude to do so. Also, as I mentioned, Maybe a block altitude is an idea so that we can analyze or assess better what exactly it is that's going on with our airspeed indications. Joe Munoz, Juan Dominguez, your friends and training program success. You know where to find us. We'll see you in another video.